Okay, so um, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages on my account. Um, people are asking me, uh, is it possible to make a four-wheel drive version of the robot that I've put on there? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of a demonstration of what this can do. This this right here is just basically, I, um, it's a four-wheel drive version of that uh, two-wheel drive robot that I built earlier. Um, and what I've done is I've taken uh, two more servos, I've hacked those out, and what I've done is to make it a little bit easier, instead of having to go through all this auxiliary programming, I've taken what's called a Y cable or a Y harness. You see this? And what it does is it plugs into one channel, right here, just one of these little wires, and then what it does is it splits off so that you can use two servos on one channel. And, um, Basically, they're they're inexpensive. They're like uh, these are like five bucks each, so ten bucks I spent. Or no, you know what? Hang on, no, it's eight bucks altogether. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, what you do, you just plug those in after you've hacked the other two. And again, we're using the gray tape method. That seems to be the best when you're working on prototypes. You just put some tape on the bottom of the uh, servos and kind of I hold them together with a zip tie just to keep them spaced properly and then I've got these little blocks of wood to keep them separated enough so that the um, the motors don't push together um, anyway so I guess you guys are gonna wanna see this so let's see if I can do this with one hand uh, radio on As you can hear, it's beeping, it's ready to go. And you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set everything on here because I'm not going to be using any weapon right now. And so just kind of balance it on there however you can. And um, make sure those motors are secure that way. You know, things coming off. Alright, so I'm just like set it on the ground and hope for the best. But um, I've already tested this so I know it works. Um, but anyway, alright, so just... I know a lot of people were asking, is it possible to make the robot turn, like, correctly? And the answer, yeah, you get just as much of the mobility out of it. It's it's easy to do. You just add the extras on there. And you know what? It's slow. It is it is very slow. I'm going to admit that. But, you know, I don't even have to admit it. You guys see it. It's, it's a sluggish robot, but it can carry quite a payload. And what we're going for right here is we're not going for the fastest robot out there right now. This is a prototype, okay? You want something that can keep in one piece. You don't want it flopping all around and, like, breaking down right within the first couple seconds. Now, if you can, I know I know you're not, like, probably some of you going to do this, but um, a good way to ensure that you're going to last throughout a battle, like, you're going to get knocked around by some of these bigger robots. They're going to flip you. You're going to land on your wheels. And chances are you're going to crack some gears. So... If you can, you might want to go out and find better servos than the S3003 and see if they got like a, a metal gear set that you can replace them with. And now, generally, the servos are going to have at least one of the plastic gears, and that's just kind of a safety reason. I'm not even really sure why they do it, because it sucks, okay? It actually is really bad. I hate it. It's uh, just something they do, so... Uh, answer to the question, yes, you can build a four-wheel drive robot that works using my setup. Um, again, it's slow, but what can you do? All right, thanks a lot for the questions, you guys, and we'll get back to you with more from the uh, spinning robot uh, in a later episode.